Imagine having a hole drilled into your skull while still awake to chase away evil spirits. Welcome to the world of trepanation, one of the oldest surgical procedures in human history. Thousands of years before modern neurosurgeons had microscopes and scalpels, ancient healers reached for a much simpler tool, a sharpened stone or a hand drill made from bone and flint. And with it, they would cut a circular hole into a living person's skull. Why? Because many civilizations believe that headaches, seizures, and mental illness came from angry spirits trapped inside the brain, and the only way to help was to give the spirits an exit route. But here's the wild part. It wasn't random butchery. Archaeologists have found trepan skulls from Africa, Europe, the Americas, and ancient Greece, spanning over 7,000 years of history. And incredibly, many patients survived. Smooth bone regrowth around the edges proved people lived months, even years after the procedure, which means some ancient surgeons actually knew what they were doing. Sometimes trepanation was spiritual. Sometimes it was early trauma surgery, used to relieve pressure from head injuries after battles or falls. Still, imagine lying there. No anesthesia, no sterile tools, just prayers, chanting, and a slow grinding circle carved directly into your skull. And we call today's medicine scary. From mystical healing to the dawn of brain surgery, the trepanation drill shows just how far humans will go to chase health or hope. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, follow, subscribe, and share for more medical and science madness. This is Dr. Pox, where the truth is stranger than fiction.